All right, it's just gonna do a quick video on uh, show me me a case if you guys want to get a really good case um, that definitely check out the Spigen case I got today um, really like it I had the cheap one on there I was getting worried that um, I drop it um, but very very nice lip uh, I know many of you already seen this case before um, very clicky buttons nice little carbon fiber uh, fits very good and I guess Speed Speaking is not actually making like all of their models, but at least they're making something. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have a Mi 8, I mean, especially the glass back, the moment you drop it on any kind of concrete, this is gonna shatter. <laughs> this is gonna shatter. And I don't, I know, um, I hate using glass protectors. If you want to use a glass protector, you may wanna stick um, with something that has liquid in between. Um, but I'm I'm more of a naked user, um, but with this case, it should be plenty of protection. Um, let me see, yeah. And also the fingerprint sensor is a lot easier to access, especially in the dark or in the pocket, um, because it's nicely caved in. And you got a nice protection also for the camera, all right? Um, buttons, very clicky, all right? You could literally hear the clicks. Um, so really like it. Oh, most importantly, you're not gonna get any fingerprints on it, right? Um, the back of this thing is a fingerprint magnet. That's actually another reason I don't want to use it naked. I guess you could put a sticker on it, but it's still gonna shatter. I'd rather get a pretty good case. This is not the thickest, thickest case. I, I would say it's a medium case. Um, so definitely check this out. If you guys are interested, I'm use the link in the description. It will also help me out. I won't actually cost you anymore. Um, but yeah, love this case. If you have a um, Show Me Me 8, definitely get this case. And also, um, uh, let me do a quick mini review um, since I've been using this for about, is it a day, two days now? Oh, see, I dropped it again. <laughs> Another reason to use a case. Um, really like it. Now there's initial reports, initial reviews of the Mi 8. I would actually just not read them. There's a lot of people saying there's performance throttle issues. This does have actually um, cooling and I might actually disassemble and do a video on my main channel soon. Um, I've had zero throttle issues and I think the ones that reviewers got was maybe, you know, um, not, not a retail unit, but this is the global unit and runs very fast. Um, the only problem I've had is no notifications up at the top. So you have to scroll down to actually see your notifications because of the notch. I haven't figured out how to have notifications on the top. Um, of course, when you root it and install custom ROM, you're going to be able to easily uh, with a custom ROM like Resurrection Remix that has a bunch of different notification options. So I'm going to eventually do that. Uh, also, one note about Root, there is a 15-day waiting period. That is because a lot of, um, you know, scammy Chinese, not Chinese, just scammy retailers, they'll get the phone and then they will unlock the bootloader and load up spyware and adware. And I've actually gotten a phone like that and that's one of the reasons I avoid it show me. So I'm not too worried about the 15-day. I'll just wait my 15 days, even though um, it sucks waiting. At least I'll, I don't have any adware. I got a pure, you know, it was in the box. <laughs> it was wrapped. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are thinking about a good Snapdragon 845, um, definitely this. Um, I really like it. I'll have a review eventually here, but I really like it so far. Compare the OnePlus. Um, yeah, it's very comparable to OnePlus. Um, yeah, not com OnePlus a little bit faster, but this one's also very, very fast. I'll have zero problems and yeah, really like it. Anyway, um, definitely check it out if you guys are in the market. Uh, also, 4G LT issues. I know a lot of you are saying like, oh, it has doesn't have any T-Mobile bands. Um, and I think a lot of you are referring to some of the older uh, phones, but I get perfect T-Mobile signal here, as you can see. AT&T, you should have no problems. Now, when you're leaving these comments, um, you if you're <laughs> leaving comments on these older phones, that had the older LT bands, um, you know, it's it's not comparable because a lot of the newer phones, whether it's you know Xiaomi or Samsung or LG, 
they're actually adding, they've added a lot more bands for any of the newer phones. So, so long as you get a newer phone like this, I don't think you'll have a problem. Um, but let me go ahead and test out the bands also in detail for this phone, um, just to make it concrete. Um, but yeah, really like this phone so far. Um, and yeah, I, I bought this with my own money and I really like it based on just, you know, my money voting. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day. Um, yeah, and check out my main channel. And this is my second channel. High on Android is actually my second channel I created because, well, it's, it's too hard to explain. But yeah, have a good day. And as always, stay hot on cases.